as a terrorist organization. Before March this year, before we even went into Operation Casino, Operation Hadar and Daji, the bandits became like lords because of the way they operated several years. That they had authority over people before you go to farm, you pay, they will go and hang around farm, you carry anything past, they come, they roast to your animal, you don't talk, all those manner of things until they began to set up various, you know, local vigilantes, and all those things amongst themselves, fighting themselves for years. They became like lords, semi-gods. So what is the difference psychologically between when you say Boko Haram, Iswaf, and non bandits The contact and the relationship between the genuine law-abiding citizens of that area is no different. And now they know that Boko Haram, the terrorists, they don't have any authority again in the real sense of it. They don't have any stronghold again. No strength in action, no strength in sovereignty at all. But to continue to encourage their discreet followers, and in quote, if I'm permitted to say their sponsors, they want to show relevance. And that's why they say they claim responsibility. If you listen to that clip, I will repeat, he say, my brothers. So his brothers acting for him. So where did he say that I went there? If, is he bold enough to ever come out? Never. So that is propaganda. And that is a way because what we do is that we analyze, we study the trend of every criminality. Robbery, if it was when it was conventional warfare, the same thing you study the trend, we call it enemy habit. It is a habit of the enemy to use propaganda to continue to boost their ego and then their what, whatever they are doing. So we don't want the public to take it line who can sink her. However, we don't push it apart. We don't because some people might have escaped from active terrorism, infiltrated into other localities like the Northwest, and then begin to do what? To engineer, to begin to do what? Educate, brainwash other people. Western education is bad. You understand? So that we are not taking it for granted. But the assurance that we have is that, like I told people, we did not import Major General John and Enche from uh, anywhere. I was created here. Every member of the armed forces of Nigeria are all Nigerians. You have the Edoma man there, you have the Igbo man there, you have all tribes, if not all this, complete. So we are our brothers, we cannot. And then the interest of the military man, when you are talking about all distractions, the man in the one foot is never distracted. He is thinking of how to deliver the task you gave him. How do I capture the enemy in disguise, the bandits? How do I clear them? So we are committed to that.